Tractor channel, or welcome if you're new. For today's shop with me in grocery haul, it's a collab with Tiffany from Small Town 6 and Jessica Myros from Jessica Myros channel. The links to their channel will be down in the description below, and to check out everybody else that's in the collab, there will be a playlist down below. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on some of the new items, some of the vegan items, and some of the stuff that might be not in stock and the uh, empty shelves. So if you're ready, come along with me. Here you see there's supposed to be the, uh, some Kraft macaroni and cheese uh, five count boxes over here, but see, they got the inconvenient stickers. For this whole entire section. And they got the four pack over here, but they don't got the five pack. And I got the individual down here. And over here, got more empty shelves over here. And it's due to it being a closeout over here. You got some more inconvenient on the rice over here. Alright, so that's got another inconvenient sticker down here. So, it's a lot of inconvenient stickers on the rice over here, you see. And on the beans over here. And here's some more inconvenient stickers. And the fruit cups over here. And these ones are new here. And I do have the inconvenience stickers though. <laughs> Down here to have them. More inconvenience stickers. We have them on the uh, top ramen here. I'm guessing it's just that flavor because I'm not seeing anything else that has that. Oh, the 12 pack does. And the individuals down here. Another inconvenience sticker, not sure if it's for the uh, vegetable or chicken stock here. But they do have some in stock right now. But for how long, who knows. And on this broth up here, they got an inconvenience sticker. We have an inconvenience sticker here on the black eyed peas. There's none left whatsoever. Now on the Kroger sauerkraut over here, they have an inconvenient sticker. The uh, smaller ones, they're 32 ounces. Inconvenient stickers on the Campbell soup here. This is the only ones that have it. And that's the uh, vegetable soup over here. And I, I've heard that there's going to be a more of a big bout of the shortages again for the food again. I'm not sure how true that is, but I definitely heard it. That there's going to be another big shortage on food again. More inconvenience stickers. Convenience stickers. All right, convenience stickers. I even 
on the Kroger ketchup here that got the inconvenience to here. I believe I've mentioned this before, but just in case I didn't, the uh, Kind Bars are, are vegan. And if you look at the ingredients, like let's say on this blueberry over here, if you look at the ingredients here, you'll see there's no dairy in there whatsoever. There might be honey in there, because some people might consider honey to be vegan, but some don't, so it's up to your discretion that one so like this one over here might not Let's see if this one has the honey no this one don't it don't contain any dairy so it's 100% vegan I just checked in all the Hershey syrups here have no dairy in it or any animal products so there could be considered vegan uh, I got some inconvenience to get on the bag the syrup over here Got the uh, inconvenience here on the cocoa puffs here, which I do have it you know, stocked, but who knows for how long. Same with the golden grams over here. Take an inconvenience sticker on the cinnamon toast crunch. I have an inconvenience sticker on the fruit loop here. And over here on the Apple Jacks. That's all on the giant size for these cereals that have so far had the inconvenience stickers. An inconvenience sticker for the mini wheats, which is totally out. And they got the frosted kind, but don't have the non frosted kind. But if it is shredded wheat and mini wheats up here. Even the Kellogg cereals over here have inconvenient stickers. That's even on the Kroger over here has it too. Convenience stickers here and a carnation instant breakfast. Still have the inconvenience stickers on the GIF over here to do get some in, but not a lot. And on the Skippy peanut butter over here too. Any vegan stickers? Uh, more inconvenient stickers, even on the vegan slash vegetarian stuff here. And all the garden up here. I've got the Morning Star over here. Damn, my favorite creamer over here. They got the closeout item on it. This is the one that I really, really like. Connects with my brown sugar creamer. Kroger's starting to get the back to school stuff in. It's all the backpacks here. And the containers for the kids that are going off to college. Uh, 
How's a lunch bag, which the kids can use. And more containers, the more expensive kind, the uh, Rubbermaid ones. Wow, it's nice to see the baby formula looking a hell of a lot better than what it has been lately. Even with some of the inconvenient stickers here, it looks a lot better. Not as empty as last week. Which is a very good thing. You done the ones that are for kids that are of toddler age. Might not have a ton, but they do have some in here, which is nice to see on the baby formula. You don't see that every day. Inconvenience stickers on the watermelon. If any of you like the orange roughy, they got an inconvenience sticker on it here. They just have the inconvenience stickers on the hot dog buns here. There's the hamburger buns, slider buns over here. Inconvenience stickers here. I'm gonna have it on the Dave Killer Bread over here, I think. Once that's some other bun, we got something else. Still, and every day you see it on the bread over here. Inconvenience stickers. More inconvenience stickers on this Skyline hot sauce here. And Skyline is a local brand didn't know. I know I've mentioned it before, but for anyone who's new, this is a uh, local item. It's going as a chili parlor here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And they have an inconvenience sticker on a Kroger Italian dressing here. They have an inconvenience sticker here on a Kroger version of the Vienna sausage. Over here in a chicken of sea, they have a convenience sticker. And that's the tuna here. Start, starting to see the inconvenience stickers on a chef already and the spaghettios again. Sriracha hot chili sauce here. They're out of it. And I got the inconvenience sticker. So one thing I never usually show is the Asian stuff really, but some other stuff here that has the inconvenience sticker. I mean to have it in for now, but who knows for how long. Good more over here. Some on the right down here. And here. Some of the orange sauce over here. That's there. Some more over here. Now if you want it, you better buy it up now before it goes bye bye for who knows how long. Like I mentioned earlier, yeah, there are, have been a lot of shortages going around. I'm saying that we're getting back to where it was, where there's going to be a lot of food shortages. There's some more on the rice over here.
on the quinoa over here. The rice aroni. And also that's gone up in price too. It's now a dollar twenty. No, you're not even a gone up in price. You have like a dollar thirty-four each. And then more and the mini rice is going out. No, no, greedy. Got on the Zatarans up here. The Benz rice over here. More over here. Annie's. And on the craft over here, macaroni and cheese. But you better buy it up now, like I said. I got it down here, some more. Okay. Oh boy, starting to see this on the cremette over here. And part of this video is going to be in the Delhi program and Part right, it's also going to be in the marketplace. So I decided I would combine the two together into one video so you can get a feel for a lot more items that might be going out of stock here for who knows how long with the inconvenience stickers. Totally out of the black bean corn salsa. The yeah, Kroger branded one here. If any of you are looking for the ball mason jars, I definitely wouldn't advise going to Kroger. Because look how this is about it that they have here. A ton of inconvenience stickers here. I call it over here on the juice boxes. They got more inconvenience stickers, which they've been seeing for months over here. And on the pre sun over here. More, even more inconvenience stickers. Inconvenience sticker on the Encore down here. And over here on the meatballs here. And on the bird's eye. Bunch of inconvenience stickers on all the fruit bars here. Protein bars, and Nature Valley. I know I've already shown the peanut butter over at the Delhi Kroger, but I want to show you what they have over at the marketplace too. I do have some GIF, but very few. You got a lot of inconvenience stickers over here. Just like in the Delhi one. The next thing you're gonna see is my grocery haul. Before I get into the haul, I wanna say I forgot to welcome everybody who might be new to the channel from Tiffany's channel or Jessica's channel or anybody else's channel that's part of the collab. Welcome. So let's get into the haul. So the first thing I got was some baby carrots here. And I got some uh, non-dairy mozzarella shreds. Had to get four of the small 
Pinko de Gallo because I didn't have any of the larger ones and one of them is for a recipe. So that'll be coming up next Wednesday. And then there's shredded cheddar cheese. Non-dairy kind from Dea is for that recipe also. And I got two boxes of the Rotini because they actually had it this week. When I wish they would have had it last week. But they did have my salad like always. And one of the bags is for a recipe. And the tortilla strips over here is for a recipe. Which will be coming up next Wednesday. And we also got the coffee creamer, which I told you that I'm not too happy about it. They're putting it on a close-up because this is my favorite one. Along with mixing it with the uh, a brown sugar one over here. And in the bags are more of my... More of the sparkling ice here. Here enough, we've got the other flavor too that I like because I only had four of the uh, lemon lime and I got a bag of the uh, lentils here which is for a future recipe because I was going to do that recipe this week but they didn't have every ingredient in stock for it so I had to switch my recipe up and I got that long grain white rice for a future recipe and I got a, a plant based uh, Alfredo and I got two of the Stowe Cold Brew Extra Bowl because those were on closeout. I got my little roses pasta sauce, which I always like. And this is a different flavored one this time. And I got the uh, stir fry kick, the teriyaki. And I got the stir fry kick, the uh, ginger garlic, which is the one that I really like. The, and I decided I wanted something different this week. Which I'm not going to be eating it all the time. Um, because I'm being pre-diabetic. But I am going to be eating some uh, meatless uh, uh, crispy patties here from Kroger. Which are basically chicken patties. And I got the Morningstar here. Which is for a recipe which is coming up on Wednesday. And so it's the refried beans for Wednesday. It's a recipe. I got the priority size scoops, and those are for me to take along with my uh, uh, take along with me when I go to my concert tomorrow at the Great American Ballpark, my uh, Def Leppard, Monterey Crew, Poison, and Joan Jett concert. I got cinnamon toast crunch because I was getting tired of the Cheerios. Then I had the for the longest time of trying to get this. They had the goddess dressing. Which I've been wanting to try. And, and I had the my one of my favorites, the raspberry vinaigrette. And I got the uh, two of those. And I also got the two of the peppers and onion blend. And the uh, sour cream here, which is plant-based. And that's for Wednesday's recipe. And... You can, in the comments if you want to, you can try and guess what Wednesday's recipe is going to be from everything that you see here, which is going to be. I think some of you can be able to guess what it is, but I'm not going to say I thought a recipe comes out next Wednesday. I'm sorry for the shakiness here. So if you like this, there's a shop with me in Grocery Hall. Oh. Please remember that the uh, links to the uh, to Jessica's and Tiffany's channel are in the description below, and also the link for the uh, playlist to watch everybody else's video. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and remember to press that notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. Thanks for watching.